Hello, fellow preppers and patriots. Tis I, the Rumpled One. It's, uh, what is it? It's Monday, and the date is January the 11th. I believe, I don't even remember which day of the Oregon lockdown we're in. But it's about day uh, 50 something. I'll put it in the video title. But uh, what I want to talk to you today is all the things you may have heard. Let's see. I've heard that uh, we could be under martial law in two days. Um, we could be at war with China this week. Um, we better stock up on, you know, fill up the tanks of gasoline. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Pelosi and a bunch of those other ones are going to, uh, Trump's going to issue sedition uh, and, and, you know, lock them up as traitors. Um, all this stuff I'm hearing. And then we've got, let's see, Trump's been banned from Facebook and Twitter and Parler's been Parlor has been taken down off of the AWS servers and the Google servers. And there's just, just all kinds of stuff going on. But I was just listening to a video had to do with uh, being a stoic. And the guy said, you know, m most people don't know what, what's going on. They, they don't know what they're doing. They just make stuff up. They make up rules. And it really hit home because it's true. As some of you know, some of you might watch my uh, YouTube channel for my trading videos because that's mainly what this channel is about. But it's also, you know, it kind of started out as a variety, do some trading, do some prepping, you know, talked about sports, talk about movies I've watched and all. Just whatever I want to talk about. It's my channel. I get to make it up. And what, what hit home was, you know, it's really what the Matrix is all about. This stuff's just made up. And some people really take it at heart, you know, and, and believe it and get sucked into it. And, you know, the guy said, yeah, you better, you know, fill up your gas tanks. Well, I kind of chuckle. I'm a prepper. My gas tanks are almost always full. Um, you know, at most, um, I go 100 miles, and then after 100 miles, my tank gets filled up. So like if I have to run up to Mount Pilot and, and back, well, I fill up gas in Mount Pilot or I fill up when I get back here to Mayberry. Um, you know, so, you know, from, from the top of the tank, it's got maybe 40 or 80 miles. And my tanks, I can go about 300 miles, which is enough to get me, you know, far enough away from the coast if I have to. But, you know, these people running around like squirrels or hamsters in a wheel. I mean, just <laughs> chasing their tails. And they're, they're, they got to do all this stuff because, number one, they don't have a plan. Number two, um, they're listening to other people who are, 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 you know, basically clueless or trying to separate them from what's in Hip National Bank, you know, take money out of their wallet. And I just really have to laugh at it all, because to me it's funny. You know, you see, these people are, are they're reacting to, to the latest thing. They're like a ping pong ball, just, or a pinball, just, you know, getting bumped all around, knocked all around, flipped all around. Because they don't have a plan. They don't, they haven't taken the time to sit down, analyze it, and come to their own conclusion. That's like I said, for me, I'm prepared. I don't care what happens. if, Because whatever happens, it doesn't matter. What matters is, how do I respond? How do I react? Because when stuff happens, I'm going to be one of two places. Either here at home or away from home. So if something happens I'm away from home, I got two choices. I either bug in there, stay put, or... I have to leave the area altogether because that's the smart thing to do. Or I try to get home and hope there's a home to get home to. Now, if I'm at home, same and whenever what disaster happens, I have to say, okay, well, I'm going to have to bug in, I'll be eating rice and beans for the next, you know, year or two. Or 
If it means I got to leave because there's a fire, a flood, or, or whatever, I got to leave, then I throw a bunch of stuff in the rig, and I'm out of here. I'm bugging out. Those, those are my two options. So, so long as I can do those three things, you know, bug in, bug out, or get home, it doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter what happens. All that matters to me is my reaction, my response to whatever happens. It, it's so simple. Yet, you know, if people talk about earthquake preparedness and this and that, and you got to have this knife and this flashlight, and you know, you got to be able to do this, and, and your paracord and your Altoid can survival kit. I mean, it's just. To me, it's lunacy. It just really is. I mean, because most of these things that these, you know, channels talk about butch, bushcraft and all that stuff, I mean, that's basically wilderness survival. And, you know, if you find yourself in a wilderness survival situation, it's probably because you did something stupid. I mean, let's just get down to it. If you go out in the woods by yourself, and something happens, well, shouldn't you have somebody with you? At least shouldn't you let people know where you're going and what time you should be returning home so if they don't hear from you to maybe send a rescue team to go look for you? I mean, like I said, most people in these type of situations, they're self, self-inflicted wounds. I mean, yeah, you could be doing something and get caught up. I mean, you could just be driving down the highway and an earthquake happens or something, or a mudslide happens, and you get cut off, and you might have to survive in, you know, sub-freezing weather. But if you're going to put yourself in that situation, you should make sure your rig is prepared so you'll be able to survive in sub-zero conditions like that. But, <laughs> like I said, you know, and if you're going to put yourself in that position, make sure you've got at least a couple ways to make fire, matches, a lighter, you know, a fire striker, you know, that flint and magnesium. You better shave that magnesium first because if, if, trust me, shave the magnesium first, put it in a film canister because if you're sitting there shaving it and you're freezing, you're not going to be able to do it very well. And, you know, it's, it's hard enough when you do it in really nice conditions. So... Once again, you just have to be prepared to do those three things. Bug in, bug out, get home. That's it, no matter what the disaster is. And all this chatter, I mean, for the most part, people tell me. I, I'm not really listening to the news. I'm not, you know, diving into YouTube and Facebook and all this other conspiracy. You know, all these people that supposedly know what's really going on, they're telling you. <laughs> they're just trying to hook you. They really are. I mean, I'm sure some of them are well-intentioned, but a lot of them just want you to buy their book tape seminar or whatever gadget they've invented or they're selling, you know, that they got from China. I mean, that's the bottom line. I mean, these guys want to sell me knives every day. Literally, every day somebody wants to sell me a knife. I got a whole shoebox full of knives. I think I showed you the video. Hey, uh... But I don't do that anymore. I know better. And, you know, it's like, really, a most survival situation, what are you going to do with a knife anyway? Come on, let, let's just get real here. You know, you're talking about batoning and everything. Once again, if you put yourself in that situation, that's on you. <laughs> like I said, I just have to laugh. Because most of that stuff's just not necessary. At least that's my opinion. Hey, you know what? somebody wants to argue with me, I'm not going to argue. It's my opinion. You got your opinion. You do what you need to do to take care of you and yours, and I'll do what I need to do and choose to do. And you see, that's why we've got all these problems right now is because somebody's trying to impose their will, their ideas on you. See, I just share my ideas in this video. If you like them, you get to use them for free. I'm not charging. If you don't like them, you can say, oh, that Rumpel one guy, he's full of it, and just wave me off. Either way, whichever way you look at it, doesn't, doesn't do anything to me. Doesn't, you know, maybe it benefits you, maybe it doesn't. So, like I said, I just find all this stuff highly amusing. 
you know, it's not highly amusing that we are in this situation where our elected leaders are making decisions that are affecting, you know, the everyday person in an adverse way. Um, you know, locking down businesses or choosing to lock down some businesses while other businesses are, are allowed to remain open, allowing certain gatherings, you know, and, and not allowing other gatherings. Um, it it's really shows how the United States of America is only united in name only. I mean, you cross state lines, you get all kind of different rules. How's that united? It's okay to smoke something here, but not there. <laughs> you know, once again, you know, it's okay to drink something here, but you can't buy it here. I, the, the list just goes on and on in the land of the free. And now, I mean, Biden's talking about only um, giving relief to everybody except white males. I mean... Are, are these guys really trying to start a civil war or a race war or something? I mean, some of these ideas can only be explained by one word. Idiocracy. And if you haven't seen that video, you need to watch it. Once again, it's a really dumb movie. You're going to say, why in the heck did you tell me to watch this stupid thing? It's only because if you watch it to the end, you'll see we are living in idiocracy. We are. Because that's the only thing that explains some of the, de the decisions and statements issued by our leaders. Is idiocracy. Because you can't use any kind of, of logic. If you, if you try to logically come to that conclusion, your brain is going to either explode or implode because nothing makes sense. I mean, it's as if common sense just... Common sense has just been cast aside by, I, I don't know what, I don't even know what to call it, other than idiocracy. I, I, I watched, um, said Nancy Pelosi was on 60 Minutes. It's like, I, sometimes I wonder, why do I even watch this stuff? Because 60 Minutes has just gone so downhill. It used to be a great, you know, they would go in, they would expose things. You know, they would basically, you know, present the facts, not opinion. Now, you know, it's just nothing but opinion. You know, nothing but Trump is bad. You know, anybody but Trump is good. But it's really interesting um, what's going on. I guess the PGA canceled one of their tournaments at one of Trump's golf courses. I mean, you know, everybody should be able to, to pick and choose what they want, but... It is just really showing, um, I don't know, vindictiveness, meanness, nastiness. Um, I know of some people that are changing their political affiliations because they, they, uh, their business gets government contracts and they don't want any backlash, they don't want to be targeted. Um, I mean, and the funny thing is, the irony, the hypocrisy is that, you know, Pelosi and, and all those other left people, they're the ones calling the right people the um, Hitlers, the dictators. When in reality, these are the people who are dictating, who are limiting your freedoms, what pretend freedoms you have. They're the ones wanting to restrict speech, res restrict your ability to own weapons, and things like that. So, I mean, the hypocrisy, if, if you just take a step or two back, look at the big picture, I mean, it's plain as day. And, you know, people are getting banned off of YouTube and Facebook just for stating their opinion. So, I really don't know what else to add to it other than the one simple fact, if you fail to prepare, then you are preparing to fail.